Hi, I'm Ja'Kalen Madison. I'm Rachel Flynn. And welcome to the Waterloo Community School District's Student Newscast. A lot is going on in all of our schools, and we'd like to share some of the highlights. First up, an educational opportunity for our students. It's a story making national headlines. In October, the Hoover Middle School's observatory reopened thanks to support from the Waterloo Schools Foundation and community members. Let's check out the details. This is our observatory at Hoover Middle School. And it was just uh, a couple of years ago that we had some motivated teachers and uh, faculty members say, we, this is a resource we need to use, and wrote grants and secured the funding. And we've been so blessed to have a community partnership with Waterloo Schools and the Waterloo Schools Foundation to find the money to renovate this and make it operational, not only for our, our parents and our students, but also the community at large. I wasn't exactly sure how unique this resource actually was when we first initially started this whole process. Uh, turns out it's unique to the state of Iowa. No other K-12 uh, district. Um, they may have partnerships that involve, you know, using observatories other locations, but really this is the only observatory in the state of Iowa, so its uniqueness is fantastic. The observatory is basically going to be dictated in terms of uh, use for the students by the students. We're starting an astronomy club, which involves eighth graders only currently at this time. We'll be putting events on for sixth graders, for seventh graders, and for the community as well. Completely student-led. Uh, we're doing Leader and Me at Hoover, so getting those students involved to help lead um, and plan for how we're gonna use this in the future. I help brainstorm ideas and just make plans on what we're gonna do to get the observatory ready and running. I mainly worked up in the dome area and we swept and then we scrubbed it down with bleach. I'm looking forward to being able to make friends while at Astronomy Club and then being able to, while having your friends there, being able to learn more about the, the stars and the planets and the sun. You can have fun at school and do extracurricular activities while being up in the observatory and learning about different stuff. As eighth graders, they have an astronomy unit that's a part of our curriculum now. One of the major standards that we have to cover as part of the Iowa Corps um, deals with the sun. A grant uh, that the Waterloo Schools Foundation really provided uh, is using stuff during the day. In other words, like kids getting to use it while they're in class as a part of our eighth grade curriculum uh, with the astronomy unit that was already in place. I hope that the community helps with this because it'd be really awesome since we're the only ones that have the observatory in Iowa. We should treasure it and make sure it stays the best it can be because we're not we might not be able to get another one and if it starts breaking down we need the community to help not only a amazing resource to have for the building and for the district but also an amazing resource to have for the community as well on a lighter side everyone gets excited in our high schools about homecoming and this year like every year a lot of fun events gave students a chance to show off their crazy costumes on dress up days along with their dance moves here are scenes from East High's homecoming Now let's take a look at West High homecoming highlights.
On a somber note, the anniversary of 9-11 did not go unnoticed by our schools, especially West High's junior ROTC. Members rotated standing guard by the school's flag. Here's their story. Members of AFJROTC honored the lives that were lost on September 11, 2001 with an eight-hour vigil. At 7 a.m., the flag was lowered to half-mast and four individuals stood watch at the flagpole. Members stood watch in shifts throughout the day. Here at West, I'm the Senior Aerospace Science Instructor, uh, or basically the instructor for Junior ROTC. At bases, they do this kind of thing from time to time just to uh, show respect and pay homage to, to those that did pay the ultimate sacrifice. We brought it to the cadets and we had many, many, many hands go up for, to volunteer. So we broke it up into 15-minute shifts uh, simply so we could get more cadets involved. It makes me feel very honored to be, to be a part of this and I'm really excited. To see like all our cadets like standing at military expectations for all the people that lost their lives in 9-11, it was a big impact on the United States of America. We're here right now, we're showing respect to the military and the people that lost their lives. Some of our students are very patriotic. They have some military in the background and they just want to show that uh, they truly believe we live in the greatest country in the world and that's why they're out here uh, commemorating this uh, important day. It's a normal class, periods one through seven. We do have a drill hour in the morning that all cadets can take and they learn uh, basic drill and ceremonies and uh, that's where our drill team comes from. But the normal classes are periods one through seven uh, and it just fits into their normal schedule and it uh, counts as an elective unless you're a freshman and then you get credit for your uh, 21st century skills uh, foundations class. Our program is designed uh, for four years. Uh, they can come in and start as a freshman. They can work all the way up through as a, as a senior. Um, it's not a requirement to go into the military. Uh, it's, the mission of JROTC is to uh, develop citizens of character and that's what uh, we try and do. Uh, we provide them leadership opportunities where they can take uh, control, uh, run a project, and it just gives them that uh, sense of accomplishment, I think. It's a great leadership opportunity. It, it teaches you leadership skills. It teaches you how to be a productive member of society is kind of how I want to look at it. It teaches me things that I need to know to develop my life in the future. And it's not, it's not only military-based. It, it helps you with your other school work. It helps you become a leader in the school and the community and in your life overall. Everybody should get involved with it because it's a fun, it's, it's the best fun time in the year. I didn't want to join at first, but like when I got involved with it, like everything fell on me and then I'm like, okay, I really like this. It's the right thing to do. Any student that's, that's interested in getting involved, uh, there are plenty of programs here at West and, and we just happen to be one of them. Uh, we have football players, we have drama kids, we have baseball players, uh, band, uh, you name it, we got it. Um, and, and students that don't get involved in anything but JRTC. Thanks for joining in.